Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be making amazing pudding. And it's going to be sugar free, gluten free, and dairy free. Because I have to eat that way. And I don't know how many like years I've made that way, but yeah. Um, all you need is a bowl. And yeah. Um, and then also you need some milk. And you need some pudding, of course. And then um, I have, this is what type of milk I use. It's like pretty good milk. It's almond milk. Um, and it is coconut almond milk. And it is really good. If you like get more used to it, you probably will like it too. And I love it. And yeah. So that's all you need. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this first. So yeah. I've already opened it. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and pour this in. By the way, this is the jumbo pack. I just poured that in. It smells so good, guys. You know, hot cocoa's like stuff. Um powder this is exactly what it smells like kind of think they um that used the exact same stuff kind of doubt they did but you know so i'm gonna go ahead and pour this in i'm gonna pour it let, let me go ahead and get this also i forgot to say this you also need this and if you want to try it use this okay let's go ahead and pour this in so i normally like it calls for three cups and also if you were using regular milk, you would use the whole three cups, but because I'm using this type of milk, you don't use the whole three cups. I'm gonna go ahead and pour some more milk in there. Okay, I'm just gonna pour that much first because I don't wanna pour too much. It looks so chunky for some weird reason. So when I use this, I normally like just do that, but I realize this works too. This if I keep stirring, it will get thicker. Is it thick? No, it's not. I don't know why it's not getting thick. I'm gonna stir harder. So guys, it is actually thickening up, which is really good. It's really thick, actually, to tell you the truth. I'm going to try it. And also, just to let y'all know, guys, we I think this pudding is mostly going to be for me. So it really doesn't matter if I do whatever I want to do with it. And I'm just letting y'all know. So I'm just going to... I think it needs a little bit more. It still tastes the powder. I don't know why, but that was a lot. Put that right there. Also, don't forget you can always use that if you're trying it. Look at me. That's why you have a napkin on hand. I'm actually gonna rip the napkin. Satisfying. I know a lot of y'all like satisfying videos. Some of y'all probably don't, but I just thought I might put that in there. And let's clean. Okay, we're gonna stir this up. Also, a really quick thing I wanna tell you. You can also use this to make chocolate milk. All you need is this, and you need that. I might actually do that in another video. So, just wanted to say that. Okay, I really do think that needs more. I kind of think I did something wrong. But at the same time, I'm like, no, you didn't. Boy, that was a lot too. Hopefully I didn't add too much. I don't think I did. I think this is probably gonna be a perfect consistency. I'm just gonna go ahead and add this in there so I can try it when it's done. Okay, now let's try it now. I kind of think it'll be fine now, but yeah. Let's see. 
I can still taste the powder, but like it's really good. Pretty milky. I think I just got a powder chunk. I mean, not a chunk, but a little bit. Let me keep stirring it. Pudding is so much fun to make during quarantine. By the way, comment down below. Actually, I just realized the comments are off. So you can't comment. I would say comment down below if y'all love making pudding and if y'all like it, but I can't comment. Okay. I thought it just broke the whisk, but I didn't. My mom was like making really big eyes when I did that. Okay, now that I've basically stirred it, I hate when that happens because like it always, I can't figure out the word, but it always does that and then it's kind of hard to get out. But my mom is telling me to do this. That actually looks really good. Comment down below, never mind, I keep forgetting the, the comments are turned off. But I would say, like I said a while ago, comment down below, I would say that you should comment down below if y'all lick this. That's what I was trying to say. For some reason, I keep forgetting. That is perfect. Okay. It's really good. It jiggles like jello. Okay, so we did have one and a half cups of milk in here, but we didn't use all of it. We only used that much, but really quick, I'm actually going to go ahead and um, do what I said I was going to make a video on because it won't take that long, um, but I'm going to go ahead and do that in this video. I'm going to set this over here. So all you need to do basically, I guess I'm going to go ahead and you can put it in any cup you want. But you just take this and you pour it in here. And you put a little bit of this. I should have just did it in that. And I am going to warn you, yes, it is probably going to clump up on the bottom, but... Y'all see? You wanna add a little bit more? Cause a fork might would work better. My well, mom's telling me to add a fork, but to stir it with. To stir it with. I think I'm gonna just choose this because like, it's easier. I already have it. Me and my mom are talking. Okay, so that's what it turned out to be. If you add like a lot more, normally it does work, but that's how you make it. Now let's try it. You ready? I just got my sash. Okay, this is what it does. It basically clumps up. When you like do that, you can see there's like clumps in there. Um, mom's telling me if you use a fork, it might not clump up. But you know, when you make chocolate milk, you want to use a spoon, don't you? Yeah, you do. Okay, so I'm gonna keep drinking this, and then I'll end the video. That's how clumpy it gets. Really clumpy. I guess the rest of it, I'm just gonna spoon it out because it's really good. Okay, let's end this video. But that's how you make chocolate milk. Dairy free, gluten free, and sugar free. Just put that right there. Thank you guys for watching my YouTube video. If you like it, smash that like button. And um, don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell, and turn on your post notifications. And peace out.